Welcome back to a new video. My name is Meethpal Singh. Today I'll be talking about how to use Zoom's closed captioning feature with Siki to the max. Now before jumping into the video, really quick for all my subscribers out there, what do you guys think of the new setup over here? I got the new lights, I got the new backdrop. This light back here, it changes colors. This light over here changes colors. Like all of this is really, really fun and really new to me. I'm really excited of using it. So please let me know what you think of the new setup in the comments down below. With that being said, in this video, I want to talk about the new feature in Siki to the Max to integrate with Zoom's closed captioning feature to show Gurbani while you're hosting a virtual Kirtan program. More programs than ever right now are being held virtually over Zoom, and there should be an easy way to bring the Gurbani into the Zoom window without having to screen share, and now you can do that directly in Siki to the Max. So if you're interested in seeing the step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to get this up and running, keep on watching. So the first thing I want to talk about is getting your Zoom account configured correctly with closed captioning. Now this is a free feature, but if you're hosting a virtual Kirtan program on Zoom, one thing to keep in mind is the free version of Zoom only allows two people for a limited number of times. But if you have a third person join the meeting, you only have a limit of 45 minutes for that meeting before you have to pay for a license. So unless you have a Kirtan program with two people only, you're gonna wanna get the paid license for Zoom. Turning on the closed captioning feature is really easy. Just go to the Zoom website, log into your account, and go to the settings. Scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the closed captioning feature right there. You could also do a command F to search for closed captioning. Just enable this setting on your account. Once you have the setting turned on, you're gonna to wanna to go into Zoom and launch your meeting. For this to work, you have to be the host of the virtual Kirtan program. You have to be the one running the meeting. So start the meeting at the bottom of the screen now. You'll see a new option for closed captioning. At this point, you wanna press the closed captioning button and copy the API code that's provided over there and keep that in a safe place for right now. We're gonna come back to that in just a second. Now that your Zoom is all set up, the next thing you wanna do is set up Siki to the max with a new update that supports closed captioning for Zoom. This new feature in Siki to the Max is only available for 8.0 or above. And to make sure you have this version, you can always go to sikitothemax.org. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a download button there. You can always get the latest version from that website. Or if you already have it installed, just go to the file menu, check for updates, and the new update will automatically be pulled into your machine. Once you have the newest update for Siki to the Max installed, go to the bottom left of the screen and press the mobile sync icon. This is normally where you would go for body controller or the mobile syncing features for Siki to the Max. If you want to learn more about that, I have a whole video for the advanced features, check that video out, link in the description below. But what we want to do now is go to the top of this menu, you'll see a new option for Zoom overlay. Once you're here, you can probably figure out what to do next. You want to paste in the API code that we got from Zoom into Siki to the Max, make sure you press the save button, and that is it. Once you've done that, just search for a Shabbat, open up a Bonnie, and you'll start seeing the overlay and the closed captioning appear in the Zoom meeting. Now before ending the video, there are a few other questions that you probably have that I wanna answer in regards to this feature. When you turn this feature on as a host, you're gonna see the closed captioning appear right away. But for other people on the meeting, they're gonna see a pop-up come to the bottom of the screen saying closed captioning is available. They'll have to press that button to see the closed captioning. It's not on by default. Secondly, if you wanna make the captioning bigger or smaller, you can actually do this in the Zoom settings. Go to your preferences and you'll see a whole menu for closed captioning with the slider. Just make that slider bigger and your captions will come bigger as well. Another thing to keep in mind is this feature only supports Gurmukhi at this point. There is no way to get the English translations or transliterations into Zoom. This is because Zoom's closed captioning feature has a limit of how much text can be put in at one time. And with all the other translations coming in, it becomes too much and it starts cutting off. So at this point in time, only Gurmukhi will be appearing. And lastly, I do want to say this is a brand new feature. Please expect some bugs to appear. It's not perfect quite yet. It's especially depending where you are in the world. Sometimes there's a delay with Zoom's closed captioning feature in the API. So if you see a delay, give it a few seconds to catch up. Make sure your internet connection is really strong or restart Siki to the max in your Zoom meeting. Those are some good troubleshooting steps to help fix common issues. If you ever need help or support with this feature or any other feature, just go to sikitothemax.org on the bottom left of the screen. You'll see a support icon there. You can submit a ticket through that icon and the team will get back to you to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. If this is not enough for you and you want to challenge yourself to be a pro at Siki to the Max, check out my advanced features video on Siki to the Max. You can actually control the Zoom overlay through your phone and have everyone on the Zoom call control the Siki to the Max from their home without having to share one computer. It's quite amazing how to do this. Check out that video for all the advanced features. Again, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I really appreciate you watching the very end of the video. I'll see you guys next time. Vaheguru ji ka khalsa, vaheguru ji ki fateh.